fragments. We all seem to wait for nothing to come. And when nothing comes, we cry. For we want so much more than waiting so calmly to die. He sat as he sat, unmoving, his knees about ear height, exposing nothing but a turbaned head and hands, chest, feet, immobile in the dust and buzzing among kind beasts. His face, that face the first found waking, and those eyes his now, as calm, as guileless, as the gesture of the twin hand he holds, mutual dialogue holds them close and keeps them far from me. The heat in the cavern called the ear of Dionysus cooled. Thousands filled the chipped tears of the Teatro Greco at Syracusa to watch the play Agamemnon performed. Stars shivered as the watchtower lookout cried, I see the beacons, Troy has fallen. Through the central black tunnel mouth, revealed when the creaking rusted shutter rose, a railway wagon shunted, the side slammed down, and thousands of muddy soldiers' boots poured out. The cat slept in the fire glow, and the wind was cold in the corner of the staircase. Undressing was a fumbled thing, and sleep shaft deep. In that heel turned and blurring sky, the sun hung flat, sounding brass, braying far into the moon-mazed night following. Now my familiar mouths such and so, but knows I find me here bound, slowly turning round and round, leaning towards that kindness, and acting not the Z, if but to make a sombre hour something finite, to uncage this mind, break the cast, and set the striving free, from this so barren check, from the conjunction of knees, these curving feet or thinning thighs sleeping, while simplex on his motorcycle slowly revs debab, debab. The shrieking children of the slipknot breed ran wetly through Piccadilly Fountain as I passed up Oldham Street by Magma to buy watchmen at Forbidden Planet. Lomas was a hustler. Lomas was alone in the dystopian city, his leopard tail dragging as I entered Bad Gateway and drew UNNU -N -U on his cheeks. For he turned his back on me, and those bright even teeth tore my heart apart. Eros drew closer and laughed, Serafino, when your light fingers touched my forearm and you said, Come with us. We dawdled across the burning cliff tops to the tuna factory and the ruined castle of Montebello, the steps were there revealed and then concealed, where a diving stripling drowned sudden tears. We skirted spilt addict blood as the sea blue breeze slammed the shutters. Then Walter said, Nothing lives here now but toads, centipedes and mosquitoes. I paled for seeing another little death. Young man Mark had written the word peace on the grass using daisy heads. Remounting his horse which heard the sea surge sighing, it pitched him head lost, unbalanced among the rock points, combed by the sea waves of the isle. 
His eyes ablaze and phosphor bright, he fell into that abysmal night, blue of down, the blue violet of inertia, sinking without volition, in silence absolute, his finning arms and legs spread wide. Am I so low in mind's esteem that I'm not honours due for the days of my life? Have I failed all coming safely through in mind and strength the years now past? Helmets firmly anchored in a row of twelve abreast, the doughty coppers silent waited by the skylights on the roof, while Jerome Caminada, the pride of the force detective, falsetto through the keyhole cried, Sisters! Oh, sisters! Seven times he knocked that early morning, 1880, at the temperance hall door, and seven times he lisped unheard above the waltz arpeggios, the blind harmonium player, Mark Letcher teased. Enter the bobbies later at the run, handcuffs ready, aided by some working men, there to watch the fun. Such shrieks and quick undressings, such abandonment of wigs, while outside the soot rained down on battered wives, ragged children of the perishing class, prostitutes and drunks, in the vilest place, they said, of Spittle Street, between dawn and sundown. I have a horror of the unleashed black dog and bare scars, but follow lightning flashes to the darkest cave where Dino Felis, le sorcier noir, devours his prey. The Prince of Darkness is a gentleman and holds my skull between his jaws as Dreamily, unaware of pain, I expect my death. I dream of you, there is a sea, a great sea, and there is you. Only in my dreams am I ever close enough, only in my head can I ever touch. There is water between us, I am blue, the size of heaven, a piece of wall where the paint has fallen away. I roll towards you and hold your sides. The night opens, dripping with stars. We lie in a tangle of arms, white sails on the sand. Your face draws me up like the surface of the ocean where a dolphin breaks the waves. I cannot not be what I am. And death shall be no stranger to this house the border breathing wide between summer and the season of decay was crossed without formality last night. Or was it weeks or months before this rot now ripening? Our song ends as Crotus lifts and aims his bow. There is no muse of fine art. The black heifer, her forehead starred with white, comes stumbling from the forest deep, in her chest his arrowhead. As she falls, she lifts her horns. A trumpet sounds in fire and thunder, rain and wind. Nothing, nothing more, nothing.